Hi, and welcome to Dad is a Joke. Uh, today we got a special episode of, let's do this, uh, a special episode of uh, Dad is a Joke. And today we are going to be doing an unboxing video. Now, first things first, okay? This thing that I bought okay, from Amazon, see? You know, you got your two HDMI inputs, you got a microphone input, headphone, and it's supposed to be USB 3 because blue or blue is USB 3, black is USB 2.0. So, guess what? It's only USB 2.0. So, there is a bottleneck already in this thing. Second of all, second of all, this thing's crap. Absolutely crap paid $40 for this thing thinking you know what this is a great way to get into because the whole key for uh, for me here is to hook up this to my arcade machine which is in essence the arcade machine is a Raspberry Pi it's got an HDMI output directly connected to the TV and then my joystick controller the, my arcade joystick controllers are hooked up to uh, um, to the uh, to the retro or to the uh, to the uh, Pi. Why am I losing my mind today? Anyway, to the uh, retro Pi machine. And anyways, so I thought, great, this is you know forty bucks, cheap. Get into the game, capture the stuff, create cool videos of all the arcade games that I have. Uh, a lot of people love all the retro arcade games. Um, they're all emulated. That's fine, but I mean, I want to be able to you know. Do it live or record or whatever problem with this thing is it heats up and it heats up fast to the point where it's running 60 frames per second then boom within five minutes i got my audience telling me oh by the way it's down to five frames per second so i have to go back restart gamecaster almost re not reboot the device but re uh, restart gamecaster for some reason it wasn't catching the frames properly and then all of a sudden it's like you know what <clears throat> it just kills the vibe of the video and they used to drive me crazy and then a couple uh, or a week ago um i fired it up just to double check it again had it cooked hooked up to my laptop the laptop's an i5 should should be able to do all this stuff uh no problem um and it's uh, this time it was capturing properly but it was, I didn't want it to capture video but or audio, but it was capturing audio from somewhere and I couldn't figure it out. Was it from the laptop? I had that muted. Was it from this thing? I had that muted. Just was driving me up the wall. I just want to hear the game. I don't want to hear idle chit chat in the background. I didn't want to hear anything. And that was the most frustrating thing. It was just driving me nuts. Every time I tried to fix it, something else broke. Every time I reset it, something else broke. So I gave up. I, 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 I had it. I had it. And actually, when I was doing this months and months ago, when I first started streaming, um, I actually uh, stopped uh, all the retro gaming stuff. And uh, just because of this, it was just driving me absolutely bonkers. So now, let's put this away. It's going to go garbage, by the way. Here we go, folks. Aver Media. Okay. Now, it's not an Elgato. I get that. I understand that. Elgato being one of the, the most popular brands right now. But the thing is, Aver Media uh, has been making capture devices now for 20, 30 years now. Back in the day when I used to work for a software company that did video editing, and the big capture device back then was 1394 uh, Firewire from a camcorder to the pc and then edit all the all your videos they were selling a ton of them and the cool thing about it is because i was part of the i was actually the team lead for the oem group that whenever an oem from taiwan or whatever had had purchased a whole bunch of aver media pci capture cards they wanted to bundle with our software so what i did with my team was we tested our software whatever bugs we found we fixed them they signed off on the finished product and away we go. So for me going to Aver, Aver Media, I was actually quite happy about it, actually. Uh, I know the name. I know it well. And then the other good thing about it is uh, there was a big sale. Well, not a huge sale on Amazon, but it was 10% off. 
plus my credit card, which is one of those travel credit cards on, uh, oh, I forget which Canadian bank. But anyways, um, I, uh, I decided uh, to use some of the points, well, whatever points were left over from our Christmas shopping. And so I got an extra 40 bucks off of that. So for about 118 or something Canadian, I, I ended up uh, getting this. And I know the computer store that I used to work at, this thing was listed at over 200 bucks at one point. So I have a feeling that Avermedia is coming out with a new model and they're trying to clear out the old ones. But I mean, this is, I what I need is 1080p and that's it. I don't need 4K. Yeah, it does have 4K pass through, who cares? But here's the most important thing, okay? And I'm going to read you this. Here's the most important thing that, that I need, okay? So obviously you got your, four, your 4K uh, uh, pass-through, 1080p plug-and-play. Well, I mean, this piece of crap was supposed to be plug-and-play, but it plug and pull your hair out. See the baldness? It's because of this, okay? So... Um, now here's the, here's the feature that sold me on this device, PC and PC free capture. So what you can do is you can hook it up as normal, hook it up to your device that you want to capture your Xbox, whatever, hook it up to a PC and do live capture. And it also comes with some really good software called, uh, record central. So you can stream and do all that stuff. Now. What happens if I just want to capture the video? Now, the cool thing about it is it has an SD port. And now, oh, well, it's a micro SD port. So I can plug in a, a micro SD port in the back of it, hook up my, uh, my Raspberry Pi, and at that point, just record. Just press a button and it starts recording. So I can record a whole bunch of arcade games. Then I can, once I'm done, shut it down, bring it over to this computer here the the big amd uh, ryzen 7 machine and uh edit out all the videos and make you know put in my intros and extras in it that i need and then just upload them over to uh to youtube and that would be perfect and that's what this is what that this is what totally sold me on it now also the other cool thing is i can hook up a, a pair of headphones and do uh commentary so yeah, I mean, it won't. There won't be any face cam action, but the point is, I can do commentary. And what I like about doing about the arcade games is making, you know, uh, talking about the video games, but not historically about the video game, but my history on the video game, where I saw the game, how excited I was to play with it, how it sucked my quarters back, and and I sucked at the game until I got better. Whatever. It's just it gives you that personal touch, you know. Fine, we know Pac-Man is, you know, the game, whatever, but how did I feel about Pac-Man? How did I like it? It actually drove me nuts, but I still, you know, I like the game, but it's not easy. And these games were designed to take quarters from it. Anyways, that's the type of thing that I that I want to talk about. So I can hook up a pair of headphones. The only problem is the headphones that you need. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. See, that's a four-pole. Uh, that's a four-pole. Um headphone slash microphone connector okay so now the only headphones that i have that do that my daughter's diva headset so the good thing about this is if i'm going to do commentary i'll be using these but you won't be able to see how ridiculous i look with these things on so that's the cool thing about it is the other headphones i have uh, which are wireless uh, Logitech's, the, um, I forget what model they are, but they're wireless, so I can't really use them on the, on the, on the capture device. They're, these are strictly for the PC, so that's, that's another thing that's gone. So, let's get cracking. Where's the scissors? Let's see what happens here. La, 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 la. I really want to see this thing. Eh. Why do they put like these? I know why they put these things so they don't people don't steal them. But they used to peel them off at the store where I used to work at, so these stickers don't even help in protecting anything. 
And plus, I like to uh, make sure I don't destroy the box just in case I need to return it, which is important. But I bought it through Amazon, so they're kind of cool about it. Okay, let's see here. This is pretty hefty. So just to let you know, the Avermeter one, the official name is the Live Game Portable 2 Plus. 2 Plus. Okay, they're probably coming out with a 4 Plus. I don't know. So I don't know why it's portable, because they're, all these capture cards are portable, but I guess they needed to give it a fancy name. So anyways, it comes in a nice little black box. With lots of tape on it everywhere. And ta -da, let's see, let's do that. Let's pull it out. Ooh, it's kind of hefty. I wasn't expecting it to be this hefty. Come on. Come on. This is embarrassing. Oh, how are you going to come up? Okay, is there any... There's some, okay, here we go. Just cut some tape here on the sides. Scissors, where'd you go? Slice. Slice. Oh, that just opens up the side panels, which I'll get to in a minute. So, ah, finally. Eh. Wow, this is bigger than I thought. Totally bigger than I thought. Okay, gang, there it is. Actually looks kind of cool. So this, uh, this, uh, from, whoop, there we go. From what I understand, there's a light behind here giving you a, a red and blue light. Um, different functions of the red and blue light tell you if you're recording or if you're not recording or if there's an issue or what have you. Now, you can hook up, um, uh, what's it called? Um, um, audio from your joystick or your controller, like an Xbox to pick up the, the uh, in-game chat. So you can record that. Here's the headphone uh, plug-in, the four pole one. So then it also has volume control on it, which is kind of cool. Let's, well, there we go. Volume control over here, right here, plus and minus. And then your, this one is actually a rocker switch, a slider switch. So it, the first mode is for PC. So if you want to record to PC, next one is to, um, SD card and then the third switch is this turns into um, this turns into uh, oh, what's it called um, uh, a micro SD uh, reader so when you plug it into your PC it'll read directly from the uh, micro SD reader so it's like one of those you know micro SD readers that you can buy that have multiples of what have you you know different SD cards and what uh, and whatever so that's the trick so once i plug this into the computer see once i do the recording to the sd card i can flick it back and pick up the video and start editing now here's the other nice cities back here so your hdmi in and your hdmi out nice and uh next to each other uh your micro uh usb for obviously for power right and or, and data transfer obviously power and data trans transfer and also your micro sd port so it can take up to 128 gigs which is perfect um i think uh i think for for purposes of mine i don't think the videos are going to be all that big because realistically i mean if you do if you do really well in an arcade game maybe a half an hour tops maybe uh, but you're, if you're shit, it's like a minute, two minutes. And if you're half decent, maybe 15 minutes. So it's not gonna, I'm not gonna chew up a lot of, uh, of memory off the uh, thing, but it should be, uh, it should be very, uh, easy to use. It, I'm still impressed by the, he the heft of it. It also has rubber feet on it. So it doesn't slide it anywhere. Unlike, unlike this bloody thing, nothing just slides everywhere. <laughs> and this guy. Has got nice rubber feet. That's actually not bad. And I like how it's, it will, you know, it will sit on the desk. 
know if you, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, look, it's really sturdy. I actually really like this. And again, it's not an Elgato, but you know what? After doing after doing my research, the Elgato the Elgato HD sixty and the and this thing are scored excellent at PC Magazine. So, I mean, at that point, it comes down to price and. The Elgato's, in my opinion, are expensive. I mean, they do have the market. Um, everybody loves their stuff, and I, I, I have no reason to doubt that. But it comes down to price for me. And this, this thing fit the bill perfectly. I really like this. So that's it, folks. This is the unboxing video of the Aver Media uh, 2 Plus. Now, just before we go, uh, let's just see what's at the bottom here. Let's see what goodies they came with. Let's see here. Here's the... Oh, it's a nice long micro USB cable. Nice. And it's uh, it's not the rubberized one. It's the actual... Um, the, the material, the threaded one. The one that looks nice. If anybody can see that. I forget what it's called. Anyway. There's that one. Come on. Okay, so you got one cable, a four pole. So what you can do with this one, that, this is what you control, this is what you plug in from your your controller into, into the port right, right there. So you can catch the chatter from your video game. So you, if you want to, you know, capture what your buddies are saying online, just plug this into your controller, into that. Bob's your uncle. You're good to go. And let's see what else. There's still more stuff in here. I mean, this is a deal and a half for how, for how much I paid. Ooh. Oh. Quick guide, real manual. Probably two pages of English and the rest are different languages. Yeah, nothing special. They tell you how to plug it in. <laughs> and an X and an HDMI cable, which is nice. I already have two HDMI cables, so that's not a, a not a, a non issue for me. Uh, but it's it's nice when a company throws something a little bit extra in there. And this is this is what I like. I mean, if they do that, that's great. And this thing just came with a USB cable. So, garbage. It's USB cable. Garbage. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for stopping by. Thank you for watching the unboxing video of the Avermedia 2 Plus. If you really like this video, this video is going to be exclusive only on datasajoke.com. Uh, I might later uh, release it to the public on YouTube, but for now, it's just going to be uh, uh, available on Dad as a Joke. So, please comment. Let me know how you feel about it. This is my first unboxing video, by the way. First time ever. Um, and, uh, yeah, make some comments on the, on the website. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions, once I get this hooked up, if you have any questions, let me know. I still have the worry that this is going to start heating up and 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 killing the uh, the uh, the frames on the uh, on the arcade machine, but we'll see. I have I trust this more than I trust that no name brand thing. Like I said, Avon Media has been around forever. Okay, guys, so that's about it. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching. And you know what? That is a joke. Com. And don't forget to subscribe. Hit the belly thing on. Uh, on YouTube when you're watching my, my streaming videos, my live streaming videos, um, make comments, you know, and when you subscribe, you'll know when I go online because I don't have a set schedule because I have, I work at an airport and have weird freaking hours. So I don't know when I'm awake, when I'm alive, when I'm whatever. So when you have, when you get the, when you subscribe, get the notifications, come on board. Let's do it. Uh, let's do this together. Anyways, thank you very much everywhere, everybody. And thanks for stopping by, and we'll, uh, we'll see you later. Take care.